In the last service and information program we covered the adjustment of the fuel maps for tuning the M50 manifold on your M52 engine for enhanced power output. Before we start with part 6 of this series, how to tune M50 manifold, ignition advance and spark tuning, let us summarize what we have learned in the last video before proceeding. From the input of the mass airflow sensor and oxygen sensor signal in the exhaust, the injector pulse width duration is controlled by the DME MS41 during closed loop operation. Targeting the stoichiometric ideal air fuel ratio of 14.7 to 1 for gasoline engines, you remember Lambda 1, for a complete combustion of the air fuel mixture. The MS41 controls the injectors in full sequential mode, where each injector fires individually. Now you should fully understand the air fuel mixture control and we can proceed on the most anticipated topic, how to tune ignition and spark advance for the M50 manifold for achieving optimum combustion and torque during the power stroke cycle. The MS41 features controls the ignition via a distributor less individual ignition coil system. Individual control of the ignition per cylinder allows for optimum best control and optimum performance, drivability and emissions. Start with raising the ignition table cells step by step in the areas of the map during a wide open throttle pull, starting preferably in third gear at low speeds until redline. Load your recorded CSV log into Megalog Viewer HD and check the path the ignition map takes. One indicator is to achieve maximum IGN advance without knock occurring. Check the log for recorded knock at patient, if any. Raise the degree of advance on those cells gradually until knock is recorded and then back off a degree or so for safety precautions. From experience, it is safe to advance the cells in those areas gradually up to 6 degrees at high RPM and low. But for this premium fuel with a high octane rating is required. Adjusting the cells in the map of lower RPM and load values for higher ignition advance is also possible. However, power gain in those areas are not confirmed but may result in a bit snappier throttle reaction. Repeat these steps as many times as you like. It will not be possible to really analyze the result of ignition advance tuning by the logs via load or MOF values for power. For proper tuning you need to measure the power output on a dyno. or perform GPS time measurements when doing road tuning at your or own risk. This is probably the most difficult part to find the right amount of IGN advance that will result in max power, but also here lies the biggest potential in increasing the power especially when using premium fuels with high octane rating.